Hello everybody and today we have a, another review. So today is pretty exciting. We are going to be talking about Bath & Body Works Floral Fantasy. Now this is part of Bath & Body Works 10 piece luxury collection that was released around two months ago. So the collection of the luxury line consists of 10 fine fragrance mists that are inspired by famous and viral perfumes. So today we're going to be talking about floral fantasy so let's get into it. So first off, this is what the packaging looks like. Super beautiful. I love this a lot and it kind of distinguishes the 10 piece luxury line compared to their regular line. I like this a lot. I think it's one of their prettiest packagings. You know what? Smallest detail that I would have loved. I think because it's like luxury, I think maybe some like rhinestones or like little jewels. I think it would have been really cute to add some like little gems here. I feel like it would have been a tiny detail, but then I think about it a little bit more. Maybe it wouldn't have been so good because they would have fallen, you know? I don't know. I think they're just something, like, you could have added a little bit more to this, but, I mean, I can always add the gems by myself, but I thought that would be, like, a cute little touch that'll be, like, completely different than Bath & Body Works regular designs, you know? But, yeah. So I really want to bedazzle mine, but yeah. So the pricing for this, this retails for $18.95. So it is a little bit up there compared to their regular line. Not by much, literally by like a dollar. Most fragrances retail for $17.95, some even $16.95. So not that big of a difference, which I'm really grateful for because then it's just so much more accessible to people to buy it. Because look, me, I'm in college. I need affordable i would love to own luxury items but it's even better when i can get a luxury item but at a way more affordable price now i really love the font that they chose for floral fantasy name i really like it and the gold little rim i think it's really cute it's so pretty and then the bottle is just purple i think it's so cute and it just makes it like a lot more luxurious now i did get this in a haul i purchased this online during their easter sale i did do a big haul so go and check that out so now going into the notes of this fragrance we have notes of peach osmanthus jasmine and warm patchouli now i do want to quickly read a bath and body works description that they have on their website for this fragrance and it states what it smells like Close your eyes and feel transported into your wildest dreams. Embrace the tranquility and peacefulness of your own secret flower garden. Now, that's a really good description, but I'm going to say off the bat, I don't think this really smells like flowers. I don't know. So let's dive a little bit more into it. So I have been wearing this fragrance for around seven hours. It's a really long day. Today's one of my long days. I'm going to be at school for 15 hours. So I've been wearing this for seven hours so far. And I think it's really good. It's really, really strong. So a little rundown on what I paired this with. I paired this with the Equate Purple Baby Oil. The Suave Lotion. Um, I believe it's Renewing Lotion. It's the green it's the blue bottle with mint leaves on it and then i paired this with bath and body works white jasmine body lotion that i did do a review on and then i paired it with floral fantasy to top it off because this is more of a luxury line i didn't really know if i wanted to pair a perfume because it's technically supposed to be a perfume and honestly this is smells literally complex i had no idea what perfume to actually pair this with so i decided to just wear it on its own and just pair it with a lotion now because this is named floral fantasy i was kind of having the thought like oh this is going to smell like a bouquet of flowers unfortunately that is not the case with this i really thought this was going to smell like a bouquet of flowers but no it is a lot deeper it is more heavy it is a little bit more mature as well I don't think someone super young would wear this. I mean, I'm young, but like, I also like everything, so. Now, this is supposed to be a dupe for Flower Bomb, a pretty popular and viral fragrance. And people are also comparing this to YSL's Mon Prairie. Now, I do not own either of those, but I have smelled Flower Bomb. And from the way that I remember it smelling, 
this does not remind me of flower bomb maybe a little bit but not really flower bomb you really smell the flower <laughs> but with this one it's not very floral and i've never smelled mon Puri from what i saw that is on my list i really want to go and smell that but if you guys have a flower bomb or YSL Mon Prairie, tell me if this smells like it. But to me, I really don't think this smells like flower bomb, nor really flowers. So going back into the notes, we do have jasmine. And I feel like I do smell the jasmine and I do smell the peach, but there is something a little bit strange in here. I can't put my foot on it. And, I'm, I, and I do want to note that I'm not really familiar with luxury fragrances. Like I'm on a budget. I really review Bath & Body Works and Bodycology and stuff that I find at TJ Maxx. Like, I'm not out there buying really expensive luxury fragrances yet. So, so I'm not super familiar with, like, really high-end ones. But I don't know. There's just something about it. It's not very florally. I don't know. I do... This smells to me like a lot of things. I have some familiarity with certain perfumes one of them is kaylee's vanilla 28. now there is something deep in there i believe it's the patchouli is what i'm smelling like because a lot of luxury perfumes tend to have patchouli in it there's something really deep but there's like something strange in here it's not very floral like i smell i think it's the peach and the patchouli like it's deep but there's that sweetness but it's not sweet in like florals if that makes any sense so you know what this reminds me of? It literally just reminds me of spooky. Like, it reminds me of October and Halloween. I think this is literally smells like Halloween. So, I don't know about the name floral fantasy, but I get the fantasy. Fantasy as in spooky season, as in October. But I don't know where the floral is. I love it, though. It smells really good. I think this would be perfect for the fall. It's really, really pretty. This is actually one of my favorites, though, out of the 10-piece luxury line. It's pretty. I really like it. Sad that it doesn't really smell like floral. So in my fragrance combination, I was trying to bring out the white jasmine note, and I feel like I did because I did pair this with white jasmine, and the lotion that I paired this with does smell really strong. That lotion that I paired this with, white jasmine from Bath & Body Works, it literally smells like a perfume, at least the version that I have. I have... I don't know what you hear that version is, but then I also have the 2023 version, but the pairing it with that, it literally smelled very perfumey. Now I do gotta say, this literally smells like a perfume. It really does. It is so complex. And I feel like that's why I'm a little bit struggling on reviewing this because it is really complex. I smell so many things and I'm not really familiar with certain notes. Like it literally smells like a perfume. Like to me, this is what a perfume smells like. Now, from initial spray, this gave perfume. It was strong. So, usually I don't have a problem with staying in the same room as I spray my fragrance, like letting it settle. But no, when I sprayed this, I kind of had, like, when I sprayed this, I had to walk out of my room. It was very strong. And it stuck so well to my clothing. I was walking around, going to my lectures. And I can smell it when I'm walking by. It's really strong. It's really good. It's literally a perfume. If you guys were kind of like hesitant on getting this and you were wondering, you know, can a fine fragrance mist be as, as good as the original perfume? This is really good. Now, I really feel like this will last me the whole 14, almost 15 hour school day. So I will update the description box once I've fully worn this for the whole 15 hour day. I do not plan to reapply this because I literally still smell it. Like, I'm not going to reapply this. Like, that is a lot. It's very fragrant. So honestly, I really love this one. This is also one of my top favorite scents out of the entire 10-piece luxury line. So I really recommend this one. I think if you are looking for like a Halloween, fall fragrance... I, I mean, it's spring here, but I don't know if it's very spring-like. But this is perfect for Halloween and spooky season. So this is going to be one of my most reached for during the spooky season. I am so excited. But honestly, that really concludes my review on this. And I really love this. 
So I do want to know that Bath & Borderix has not released matching body lotions or body creams in there has been some rumors that they are going to release matching ones, but I haven't seen anything fully confirmed. So I really hope that Bath & Body Works releases matching body lotions and body creams just so it can last even longer. And you guys know I love my fragrance layering sets. I think this would be a really good line to have matching body creams and body lotions for. Because look, being on a budget... And still being able to smell good and smell luxurious, that's the best thing. And I love how Bath & Body Works came out with this because it just made all these perfumes that are really up there in price so much more affordable that a lot of my girlies and all of my people that are in college are in budgets or they really just don't want to be spending more than $100 on a perfume, you are now able to purchase one for less than $20. So I'm so happy that Bath & Borders came out with this. I just love that. You guys know I always love buying something affordable. I'm always looking for a really good deal. So yeah. So I think this is well worth the $18.95, but if you guys can get it on a sale, I highly recommend getting a sale. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get a backup of this just yet because this isn't really a scent that I will reach for. I will love this either way, but I don't know if I'm going to reach for it enough to be like, oh, I need a second bottle. But that's just me and my preference. <laughs> And honestly, this concludes my review on Bath & Water's Floral Fantasies. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. What fragrance do you smell? Do you smell the Y Salmon Puri or Flower Bomb? Or do you smell something completely different? Because this is very unique, very complex. And just let me know. Also, if you guys are... If you guys do own those two perfumes, are you going to pair this with? I think this would be amazing because then it just lasts even longer. And then you can spray even more fine fragrance mist and top it all off with the perfume. A whole combination that will last so much longer than just wearing the perfume alone. So honestly, let me know your thoughts. And, and what are your guys' thoughts on the rest of the 10-piece luxury line? I am reviewing a good amount of my haul, but I don't know if I will be able to get through all 10 cents. So I am planning on doing a whole just 10 piece luxury line video i am working on that it's going to be a little long so <laughs> sorry for the delay for that but yeah so just let me know you guys' thoughts on this and i really hope to see bath and butters come out with matching lotions or body creams but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next perfume review bye